Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com. And I want to give you some reasons why I think you should do more charitable photography events for free. Now, the reason I bring this up is because I was asked to go and photograph something at a Miracle League baseball game, and I decided to do it. For those of you who don't know what Miracle League is, it's a, it's a league that gives kids with disabilities the ability to get out there and play ball. Be a part of the team, whether they're in a wheelchair, have a walker, have Down syndrome, with whatever disability they have, it makes them part of something. And this is an amazing organization, and, and, and I had a great time going out there and photograph. But why should you do more charitable events for free as a photographer? One of the main reasons is it gets you out there to shoot. And I want to show you the photos that I captured and talk more about the reasons because it is important that you get out there to shoot whether you're a beginner, whether you're an amateur, whether you're an advanced amateur, or a full-blown professional because it just helps you get out there and shoot. Now this was a Sunday afternoon where I photographed. I wasn't doing anything else on the Sunday afternoon and I was asked to do this. I didn't ask to get paid and I thought, yeah, I'll go out there and do this. And it's great to get out there whether you're a beginner or a full-blown professional because it gives you the opportunity to shoot, to be in a work situation where you're getting images and you're out there getting better. Why not use this as an opportunity to become a better photographer? That's one of the reasons. Two, look at these images. Look at these kids having fun. You've got the kids. You've got the volunteers. You have the parents come out there. And as you can see, there's a special field that the kids get to play on. It's this rubberized surface uh, that's safer. You can roll wheelchairs. And it just gives everybody the ability to play. But look at these kids as they're running down the bases. They are smiling ear to ear. Look at this. These kids are having a great time out there, and this makes them feel a part of something where they may not have in the past been able to play because they couldn't be on a team or the field wasn't accessible to disability or kids with disabilities. And the other thing that you get out of it is, I mean, I got out there and it's just, you scratch your head a little bit and you, and you say, well, I'm a dick for all of the things that I complain and worry about and, and like you think you're having a bad day and then you come out here and you see these kids smiling ear to ear having fun out there on the field and you sit there and you go I have nothing to complain about and you do have nothing to complain about and sure we're not going to change because we go out and do this one day but hopefully you go out there and see this stuff happening and it makes a change in you that's good for the long run. And that's why it's great to get out there and volunteer as a photographer. You become a better photographer. You feel great that you're giving back. It also puts your life into perspective to think about that other people have it a, f a hell of a lot worse than you do. And it's just it's great to get out there. And these photos are going to be a great keepsake for the families and for this league. So I, I loved shooting out there and there's other reasons oh, it's funny this girl she gets on and the kid must have been standing there and she goes move you're in the way which was kind of funny so let's just look at these kids having fun so this is a great opportunity to shoot to tell a great photo story and just get out there and give back so there are other reasons now this is bill he's the guy who asked me to do this he helped put together the miracle league field in uh northampton township they had to raise a bunch of money and that brings up another reason why this is important. Generally, when there's charitable funds and charitable events that are going on, whether it's baseball, whether it's uh, animal rights, whether it's whatever you believe in, if somebody is raising money, and this is the business aspect of it, but there's always corporate sponsors or large donors, people that have a lot of money that want to give back, and they'll see you and they may end up be seeing your work because you're out there giving back, they may have something that pays you in the long run or gives you access to something else. Now, one of the people that was out there yesterday when I was out there was a, a major person in professional sports. They're part owners in a professional sports team. Uh, they, they ran, they were the president of the sports team. Now, I wasn't out there to try to get other jobs. I was out there because Bill asked me to come out and shoot and give them photos because they didn't have them, and they needed more. And I know who's going to do a better job than me if I go out there and get them the photos that they need to help them bring more awareness to what they're doing. So those are some of the major reasons that you get out there. Now, part of why I was asked to be there was, one, get photos of the kids, but, two, they were dedicating a bench to a, a tremendous 
a sports writer named Stan Hockman. Now, this is Stan Hockman's wife. She sat down on the bench as the first person to sit on it, and I was just there to capture the candid moment, and then here she is with her family sitting on the bench, and uh, uh, one of the athletes saying thank you for everything that they've done to help them uh, get the field built, but also this gives you an opportunity to give back. Whether you're going to give back a photo book, or you're going to make prints and give them away, or you're going to make metal prints and give them to the families, this is how a, another way you get seen. But all in all, it's a great way to get out and about, to become a better photographer, to become a better person, to give back to people that may be less privileged or don't have things that you have, to help you realize that you aren't in such a bad place, even though you may think you are at times, it brings it all into perspective and you never know what will come out of it when you give back. There are so many opportunities that arise because you put yourself in the situations to be effective and to be successful. Sometimes you don't set out to make something happen, but those are the times where things just end up happening. You never know what is going to come out of something that you do. Sometimes nothing does and other times something major does, but something like this where it's giving back to the community and doing something along these lines, it's well worth it. And I had a great time out there. And I can see going back and either helping as a coach or participating or just bringing other photographers out there to bring awareness to what is going on. This is a great opportunity. Find a charitable event that you believe in because it makes giving back and shooting for nothing all the worthwhile even more. So, Bill, thank you for having me out there. I hope you guys enjoy these photos and they help you spread the word on Miracle League. For more information on the Miracle League, the website is up on the screen. Go check it out. And that is where I'll leave it. Jared Polenfro knows photo.com. See ya.